This video is brought to you by IDHUR Media. Hi, my name is Christian. Welcome to another episode of African News and Stories. In this episode, we are going to talk about why was Africa Stream was banned from social media in the USA? Was it really due to misinformation or is there something deeper at play? Africa Stream is known for bringing critical African perspectives, especially on Somalia and USA involvement. So why did the US Secretary General claim they were spreading falsehoods? Could this ban impact the upcoming presidential election and how does it affect the black African diaspora, now numbering around 5 million? Let's find out. In this video, we explore the deplatforming of Africa Stream, a media outlet that provided critical insights into Somalia and US involvement. The silencing of Africa Stream is just one example of a broader issue African voices are often drowned out by Western platforms. African creators have to navigate a media environment that prioritizes certain viewpoints while ignoring or deplatforming those that challenge the status quo. Media outlets like Africa Stream challenge powerful institutions. They often face consequences. In this case, questioning you. S' involvement in Somalia may have been seen as crossing a line, resulting in the platform's removal. This shows the ideological battles that arise when voices challenge established powers. It was emphasized how government-funded outlets, like Voice of America, often shape global narratives. Governments, especially from the West, fund and control these media outlets, which can marginalize independent African voices that offer alternative perspectives. This raises questions about who controls the stories we hear. Moving forward, African media must find ways to survive in a space where censorship and control are major obstacles. The future lies in building independent platforms that allow African stories to flourish. Africa Stream may have been deplatformed, but the fight for free speech and media diversity is far from over. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more stories about media freedom and African voices. Let's continue supporting free and diverse perspectives.